is. No glove touch. No surprise. So, a five-inch length advantage. His head. You got to move his head inside, get inside that jab, or get outside of that jab. You got to angle yourself out. But also, as you said, when he, when Burchell comes in and brought him that world title. He's not real good. Sometimes he's not real good with, with his hands, with his defense. He'll drop it him a little bit. You know, these are eight-ounce gloves, so anything can slip in there. Burchell strong with the jab, strong with the combinations early. He's open for that counter left, Timmy. Burchell is. <laughs> you see that right yep. hand. He's available for the left hook. Chin up. Hand out. Okay, it's John surely didn't. <laughs> the best shot of the round for Mickey Roman. The overhand right. He was able to land that shot. And he snuck that shot right over the top. He gave him instructions. Step around. Step around. Directing traffic. <laughs> round one and what promises to be a very violent dance. He caught him right in between with the overhand right to land that shot. Obviously, knocked out Salido. This time it was a slice of pecan pie. Well, I said that was. So a he's the only guy trading on pecan pie. When Roman did not have his weekly donut and instead went pecan pie. Now Roman the bully forcing Burchell into the corner. Control range right now. He's got to abandon his jab right now. But he's landing combinations. There's Great overhand shot right from Roman. That buckled the knees for a moment of the champion. And if you lack real defense, Mickey Roman is a bad guy to lack real defense against. That's exactly what I was talking about. Doesn't move his head, keeps his head down the center. Roman's going to work. And now these guys have, have more than a, a good night that they're expecting. These guys have been very explicit. They want to make history. They want to be considered with the great Mexican fighters, the great rivalries, Barrera, Morales, Marquez, my favorite, and Marquez. Bernardo, you've seen all those fights. You've been watching these guys for a quarter century. Tell me about the Morales fight. I mean, this is Barrera Morales. Those guys did not like each other, and the action lived up to the hatred in what ended up being a brutal fight. Fight of the year in 2000, round of the year as well. Vasquez Marquez, neither guy was ever the same after those four battles, and that's what these guys want to do to one another. This could be a round of the year. Burchell took a big shot early in the round and now has come back strong. These are the type of fights that Roman likes. He can endure a whole lot of pain and he also can dish it, but right now he's in trouble as he pulled back with a straight right hand. Well, you can talk about using that jab all you want, but then you're in the firefight and the jab goes out the window. <laughs> Mickey Roman trying to write an extraordinary story fighting at home tonight. Through two. What I'm seeing with Burchell is he just leans in. He's leaning over that front foot. And, and, and that's what's making him... Tim, is he's giving away his natural advantage of the height of the reach. Which is the height. When he's reaching in, he's making himself available for the uppercut. Bernie, what was the reaction in Burchell's corner? Well, they were concerned initially about what happened, but they were very happy about it. And Alfredo Caballero said he's got to work the body. It's great advice by Burchell's corner, recognizing Mickey Roman leaning forward. It's a smart thing to do, and to work the body to slow down Mickey Roman, and to take his power away at the same time. Did you see? Did you see where he's throwing some of those, some of those body shots from, uh, right on the hip. From the yeah, exactly. <laughs> right on the hip. Greatest talent of all, his ability to remain undiscouraged. Right. It's not about eating pecan pie or eating donuts. Rudy Hernandez told him, "Hey, listen, you have to believe me. But believe me, you have. and once you believe in your trainer, you have a better fighter." It, it, the system almost doesn't matter, but if you have real belief, you'll fight them. Roman pushed backwards, sometimes the hardest thing to do. And a big left, now Burchell, sets in trouble, pouring it off. Roman is staggered here. His heart telling him to go forward, but his brain should be telling him to go backwards. He's badly hurt right now. 
with a lot of time left in this round. Good tie up from Ramon, but he is badly hurt right now. See a different Mickey Ramon tonight. But at the end of the day, you are what you are. And it's gallant and it's brutal and it's an awesome thing to watch, but it's tough. You can change your diet, you can't change your heart. Huge crowd here at the Don Haskins Center, sensing Mickey Roman is in trouble. They need, he needs their help, but he is in there alone, and Burchell, the champion, pouring it on here at the end of round three. Here's Burchell right here, lands a beautiful left hook against Roman. Roman still firing in the mid-range there and gets clipped with the left hook by Burchell. Is the end of the round, a follow-up, nice jab. And the right hand, that's what you call no man's land. Uh, Burchell, when he lands that overhand right, what's your instruction for him to be able to land that more consistently? If he can, if he can get in, he can hurt him. It's not just the words. You can see the concern in Rudy Hernandez's eyes when you look at him now. Roman, as he comes right in mid-range, catching him before he gets to the spot where he wants to be. Guys, we could sit here for weeks leading up to this fight talking about defense. But right now, as, as big as he is, and as formidable as he is, and as powerful as he is, too many flaws. He leans too far forward. There's an awkwardness. The impetuousness of youth. I don't need my defense. Eventually he will. I took, a, took some brutal shots in round three, and is now dictating the pace here in round four. Mickey Roman is looking for one shot right now. He's just keeping applying pressure. He's looking for one shot. He's trying to force Burchell in the position where he wants him to be able to land that one shot, which is the left hook right now, or the overhand right. Don't you think that's a mistake? We're in the, we're in the fourth round. If you're playing for one shot at this point, isn't that a mistake? Uh, Burchell. I'm trying to wear down Burchell. If he can stay here and, and make it to the later rounds, so who has told us to us? Who has the stronger chin? You saw Burchell with, he's got the gloves up a little bit now. Let's come back and knock out Salido in the later rounds. So as long as he's in there, he still has a chance. The story of the fight tonight and the story of the entire career of Mickey Roman. What's working and what does he need to fix here? ¿Qué está funcionando para Berchelte y qué tiene que arreglar? Pues está, está funcionando los, rec, los golpes rectos, pero ahorita le estamos pidiendo que tire un poquito de upper y de gancho, cuidándose del volado de derecha de, de, de Mickey Roman. He says what's working is those straight shots for Betchelt, but he's got to start throwing left hooks and work the counter in the uppercut. But he's got to really watch out for that looping right hand from Nicky Roman. Through in his life, in his career, in the ring, out of the ring, you realize why he just keeps coming forward. He spoke before about harder to think of. And that was, for, for a guy who fights so recklessly and so violently, that was... A moment of great emotional maturity and, and discipline not to go at the guy who killed his brother. And at some intuitive level, he understood that, that victory in a place like this, in a night like this, would be his best revenge. He gets clipped over the top, times like that, by shots from Roman. Big power shots. Looping right hands and left hooks as he's pulling back, trying to get space. It's never going to be set up for Mickey Roman as well as it is tonight. Mickey has one gear, stalk. He's putting that pressure on you mentally. Mentally and physically, he's gonna make you work for it. That's the price he has to pay for it, those shots he's taking, particularly in round three. Well, he's at a huge disadvantage. You know, he's in there with a guy that can box in, a guy that can fight and throws combinations, longer arms. Taller, more rangier, good punching power. Well, he's gotten through that range right now, and he's just pushing him back. The crowd trying to rally their hero, Mickey Roman, in his title fight through five. <laughs> In the corner of Mickey Roman, Rudy Hernandez keeps imploring him, Box, please use the jab. I know you're a warrior. It has to be an environment so frustrating for trainers. Because everything you've worked on in the gym, so much of it can go out the window in an environment like this. See, Burchelt, as good as he is, gets a little wild, gets a little over-anxious. 
Leaning in, leaning in. Oh, he has right now. He has Oman in no man's land about 30 seconds ago, and he was following up with combinations, doing exactly what he was doing. But not being disciplined with his defense. This is not the size advantage or the reach advantage. This is what Brichel has been like. Lunging. There he is again, trying to take advantage of that angle. Burchelt is younger. He's another good bigger. Shot. He knows exactly where he's going to. He's trying to land that liver punch right now, landing combinations. Best shot for Burchelt, that left. They're going to call that a slip. It's just a matter of time. It's going to be to the body. Look how open uh, Roman's mouth is. That body shot took so much out of him. And go. down he goes. But Mickey Roman says, no, not yet, not tonight. I'm not done. If Mickey Roman is going down tonight, he's going down on his shoes. There it is, combinations, Burchell moving in, killing him to the body, dropping the hands of Roman. You see Roman leans forward and tries to grab and hold, and he gets clipped with the right hook as that left hand was down. I'm not sure it's ever over with this guy, Mickey Roman. I'm not sure it is either. I mean, the 21 shot, again, that left hook digging to the body by Burchell. It's the body work that's, a, that's affecting Roman right now. Burchell right there trying to catch Roman, pull him back and trying to get out. And now we're seeing in uncharacteristic fashion Mickey Roman going backward. Roman is still, actually, Roman is still hurt. His legs are wide, he's in retreat. This is all heart right now for the challenger. Taking big body shots. It's just a matter of time. If I was in Roman's corner, I would stop, would stop this fight right now. But Roman's a warrior. And he's coming back with shots like that. Great doubling up on the left hook. If you hear in the audience people yelling, you can do it, you can do it, Mickey. And we are, too. The crowd can definitely pump you up, give you a little bit of energy needed to survive these rounds or come back in these rounds. Rochelle has banked rounds, he's banked knockdowns, but he is still coming forward. <laughs> there is little question, his other tattoo was a lion tattoo that showed he's fearless. That one he should never, ever lose. Look at the Someone shot knows. that Roman is taking. You get a belt or two. If Burchelt wins, there could be a unification fight first for Burchelt because there's other champions out there. Rudy Hernandez was very clear. He told Mickey Roman, this is your last round. Remember what you said, kill or be killed. This is the cruel sport of boxing between two proud Mexican warriors. And Mickey Roman going for it now because the clock is ticking. He has taken a pounding over the last three or four rounds. A good moment right now in this fight. Landing combinations right now against Burchell. And if there's ever a world-class fighter that's going to give him that 100-to-1 shot, <laughs> it's Burchell and the way he's fighting. He definitely is scary, especially with his combinations, and he's very powerful and long. Roman in big trouble. Burchell pouring it on. Terms. shots from Burchell and Mickey Roman says more more I'm still standing here Mickey Roman is making Rudy Hernandez's job excruciatingly difficult <laughs> and save your guy or do you let him keep his pride intact and at what cost Mark all I'm going to tell you is this is a 73rd fight there's a lot of wear and tear mm -hmm. on Rudy Roman Mickey Roman, excuse me. The crowd again. They sense its last gasp time for Mickey Roman.
This is just target practice right now. An extraordinary display of heart and stamina and everything Mickey Roman yes. said he was and hoped to be. But the reality is he's been the, in there with a better, younger, stronger fighter, and this is turning into a one-sided fight. But it has turned dramatically against Mickey Roman, and amazing that he's still coming forward. Bigger than you? Still pressing forward. Look at him still trying to win. Wow. He's not getting any style points, but if you saw in the last round when he pointed to his chain, he said, come on, he gets some raging bull points. No, oh, absolutely not. He's not on style. He just needs to land punches. I mean, how could you miss my raging bull record? You think that doesn't hurt me? <laughs> Mark, you wanted, you wanted cinema. Instead, we've got a live 30 for 30 playing out in front of us. Big shot. Roman still coming back. He's taking three to get one off. I don't know what's holding him up right now. Roman, look at him. Still coming back with firepower. What we don't know is what's left in those punches with Mickey Roman, but he is still the aggressor. He is still coming forward. This is amazing. To the body, now to the head. Brutal combinations. Mickey Roman on wobbly legs. Burchell trying to finish him off here in round nine, and down he goes. For the third time. He's not staying down. He won't stay down. I hate to say this, but the referee jumped. Mm -hmm. Like almost everyone else, just caught up in the moment and the fact that every once in a while, Roman throws a shot like that. As long as you throw him, they're not going to stop it. Still waving him on. Still waving him on. Can't hit you know, your, your, your pride can recover. Your brain tissue cannot. That's right. I agree with you. 73 fights, Mark. Mickey Roman. And he has no chance right now of winning this fight. He's taking punishment. First shot. Good stop. About time. A world championship performance from Miguel Burchell. A performance that will make that family proud forever for Mickey Roman. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still the WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World. El Orgulloso Guerrero de Cancun, Miguel El Alacran Berchel.